Hey there, Dr. Charlie here. Let's take our three deep breaths together and we can figure out what we're doing for the rest of this Charlie Chats. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Like many black people in the United States, I am exhausted emotionally, physically, just life exhausted in the elements of what it constitutes to be black in this country. Um, <laughs> the country decided it wanted to start open, opening back up, which I think is a terrible idea, just for the record. Um, opening back up and immediately, immediately, one week goes by and we're already back to harassing and killing black folks for no particularly good reason. I've written about this in several places, but white folks, this is on you. Like, you need to figure out why you're so angry and why you feel the need to create violence around that anger so consistently. Part of it is because you can get away with it. I understand that. Um, and part of it is because I think you're insecure about who you are and the legacy that you provided humanity. Your legacy, I'm overgeneralizing certainly, but take a look at history. It includes a lot of violence, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of forced removal, a lot of stealing, a lot of lying. Frankly, that's not a legacy I would want to hold either. But what we've done is we got to the hard part of, for instance, the coronavirus, got to the hard part and decided we didn't want to go through it and instead we moved back. And you never get to a new level if you always go back when it gets difficult. So I really encourage you to figure out a way to see through this difficulty without causing harm to another person and in particular groups of people. Also know that spiritual law dictates, the laws of the universe dictate that what you give out comes back to you tenfold at least tenfold. And that works in wonderful directions and that works in terrible directions. So understand that all the energy you're putting into this will come back to you at some point. Now, I believe in multiple lifetimes. So I, frankly, it might not come back in this lifetime. And then next time when you come back and you say, why is this so difficult? Why, why is everyone against me? You have to think back. You have to do your spiritual work, work with a capital W to maybe other lifetimes, maybe previous lifetimes, maybe now lifetimes, where you created these sorts of sorts of situations for other people, and now that's coming back to you. And it may come back in this lifetime. I, I don't know. But it, this is not, this is not the problem or the fault of the black and brown people. Overwhelmingly, again, broad generalization, I get that. Do your work. Do your work. See the difficult times through. When it gets this difficult, you have to sit in it so that you can finally get a new perspective. Now, I understand that many white folks don't want a new perspective. They're fine with the way that they are, with the way that life is for them. But that's not what actions show. Collective actions show that white folks are angry and hurting. And y'all need to figure that out. Why are you so angry? What has caused this hurt? How can you fix it? How can you change it? without harming other people, without killing other people, without inciting violence or stealing or lying. Can you do that? That's it's a very difficult task, but it is your task, not our task. So I feel like I could talk about this for an hour, so I'm going to stop there. Um, this is our Charlie Chats for today. Understanding how the spiritual laws of the universe work. You Maybe they're not spiritual laws to you, maybe they're just the laws of the universe, but understand how they work. One of those laws is that what you put out comes back to you tenfold or more. So just understand that as you continue to move about your daily lives and your actions. And if that's the thing you're terrified of, you're only creating more of it by focusing on it and giving it more energy. All right, y'all. I will, I will stop there for today. Take great care.